Hey guys, Aloha here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, how you doing? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. So I know it's been a while, but for those of you that don't know, I had a baby. He is now four months old and work has been insane. So all of my brides that had to cancel for 2020 had to schedule their new wedding dates in 2021 and I already had 2021 booked so I double booked because I had to take care of my brides from 2020 and my 2021 brides so it has been absolutely insane so I did decide to take a little bit of a break from YouTube just to kind of catch up with everything and like I said I'm literally getting brides on like random Mondays and Wednesdays this year which has never happened before um it's just been really crazy so for those of you that are getting married this year good luck it's been wild so anyway i'm here now and i'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys this is a traditional makeup look so it is not airbrushed um and i am living for this skin you guys get into it um i use some new products today affordable products this entire tutorial is using a affordable products that you can find at the drugstore or you can get online. Before we get started, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Joa Beauty for sponsoring this video. I can't wait to show you guys the exciting new items that I have discovered through this brand. So yeah, if you guys want to learn how to get this super glowy glass skin makeup look, please stay tuned. But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on the bell notifications so you are notified every time I upload a new video and if you haven't already please go ahead and follow me on all my other social media outlets i have snapchat instagram facebook and tiktok all of that is at makeup by alaha and without further ado let's jump right on in So before I jump into the tutorial, um, I also did want to tell you a little bit about the products that I'll be using today that I want to highlight. What I have on my skin is the Primedation. This is the Joa Crystal Glow Primedation All-in-One Foundation. So you don't need a primer with this and you can use minimal skincare or no skincare at all. It's built right into this. The awesome thing about this foundation is not only does it have excellent coverage as you can tell, it also has luminizing peptides, hydrating hyaluronic acid, blue light protection, and firming collagen. So it's got skincare, primer, and foundation all in one. And the cost is only $15.99, which is incredible. The foundation is also infused with a blurring primer. So it just gives your skin a super soft and blurred finish, which we all want because who likes pores? Nobody. The result is a finish that looks and feels like skin, but it gives you excellent coverage. And this foundation is available in 24 shades. So there's a shade out there for everyone. The shade that I use today is PLN 040, and it was a perfect match for me. After using this foundation, 88% of people said they saw smoother skin. 84% said they would skip the primer step completely. And 82% said they saw a radiant finish. I'm also obsessed with their luminizer stick. It looks like this. I actually use this to contour and I love it because not only did it contour, it also bronzed me up a little bit and it gave it like a glowy finish instead of like a super, super matte and chalky look. Um, I wanted something to look more glowy. And my favorite part about it is that it was so easy to blend, which with contour sticks, I find them to be very, very drying, but this is a tinted luminizer. So it was very hydrating. Also, this is a voiceover because I did not want the video to be super, super long and voiceovers kind of save me time and it kind of just cuts to the chase. So yeah, let's jump right on in. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with this facial oil and I'm just going to use this and apply it to my face to kind of hydrate my skin a little bit. I did just wash my face and so my face felt a little stripped, which is why I went in with a moisturizer. Otherwise, I would have just went straight in with this foundation because the beauty of this Joa Beauty um, Primedation is that it has a primer and skincare built right into the foundation. 
and that's amazing because it saves you two steps. I'm using the Joa Beauty Sponge and I'm using this to just buff out and blend out the foundation straight onto my face. And the shade that I'm using is PLN040. It ended up being a perfect match for me, so I was very happy about that. You guys, I cannot begin to tell you how impressed I was with this foundation. Look at this beautiful finish that it is leaving on my skin. And it is medium coverage, but you can build it. It's buildable, which I'm a full coverage kind of girl, so it definitely worked for me. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm going to go in with a medium shade and do my under eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And then I go with a lighter shade and I just highlight the inner corners of my under eyes just to brighten that up a little bit because I like a brighter under eye area. Next, I'm going in with the Joa Beauty Crystal Glow Tinted Luminizer. And I am using this to contour and bronze up my face. You guys, I am obsessed with contouring. And let me tell you, this contour stick or tinted luminizer, I should say, made it so easy because it is so easy to blend. I let this sit on my face for a little bit while I was kind of cutting out um, the nose contour and applying that. Um, so it did sit here for, I would say, a bit, about a minute and a half. And with any other contour or tinted um, stick, this would dry and be impossible to blend out and I would have to go in with a spray and kind of blend everything out that way. But with this, it just blended out so seamlessly and I was so obsessed with the outcome. I was a little nervous that this may dry on um, a little quickly and be hard to blend. But as you guys can see, I'm using the Joa brush and it's blending it out beautifully. So I was very, very, very happy about that. Next thing I'm going to do is go in with my RCMA no color powder and I'm just going to set my under eye area really well. Um, I always do this even when I'm going for a luminous finish because I don't want any creasing under my eyes. Uh, this kind of helps prevent that. Then I'm going to go ahead and use that same powder to kind of set the nose area but I'm just going to set the center and the edges. I'm not going to really bake the contoured area as much. I'm just going to dust that very lightly with powder at the end. Then I'm going to go ahead and dust some powder onto my forehead, chin, and the rest of my face. And I'm just dusting this lightly and then I'm going to go ahead and dust away the under eye powder as well. I just want that to bake on there just for like maybe a minute or so. Um, not too long. I don't want it to be dry. Next, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and I'm just gonna use this to bronze up and contour my face just a little bit more. I'm also gonna dust a little bit on this on my forehead just to give me a nice bronzy glow. Now I'm going to go in with my Joa Beauty Crystal Glow Jelly Balm Highlighter and I use this to highlight my cheekbones, my temples, uh, the edges of my forehead, my nose, my chin to give my skin that glass-like finish. You guys, this foundation was already like a luminizing foundation, very hydrating and glowy, but once I added this, it was like a game changer. I went ahead and also sprayed my brush with the Joa Beauty Crystal Glow Refreshing Luminizer Skin Mist um, just to intensify that highlight a little bit more, just a tad bit more, and look at that. Like, <laughs> I'm so obsessed. It came out so beautiful. I'm so obsessed with this highlighter. I think it's going to be one of my staples. Um, for my makeup routine because it's just so freaking pretty. I was so impressed. Now I'm just going to go in with my blush and apply this to the apples of my cheeks and just blend it into that contour and highlight. I'm also going to go ahead and use that Jelly Balm highlighter to apply to my nose and highlight my nose a little bit, as well as the inner corners of my eyes. I filled my eyebrows off camera so I could save a little bit of time in this tutorial. 
The next thing I'm going to do is go in with that same refreshing luminizer skin mist and I'm going to go ahead and spray my entire face with this skin mist because I want that glowy finish. Like look how beautiful my skin looks. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Joa Beauty primer. This is a lash primer. It's a lash boosting primer. It is amazing because it makes the mascara go on so much better and I love the fact that they work so well together and they help elongate and thicken your lashes and this is called the uprising boosting primer and the mascara is the lash uprising volumizing and lengthening mascara the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my Morphe brushes spiffy lip pencil and I'm just going to use this to outline my lips uh, to prepare it for lipstick and the lipstick I'll be using is the ColourPop Cosmetics skimpy lippy pencil uh, I just apply some of this on the centers and just have them blended out into the lip liner and then I'm gonna top it off with a Maybelline lip gloss and that's pretty much it for the entire look I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial you guys I'm obsessed with everything that I used that was by Joa Beauty I think these are my new favorites I love that the foundation saves me so much time and I hope you guys check it out thank you for joining I'll see you guys next time bye